How long did you think you were a boy last? Why am I I'm a flamboyant gay boy? Shalom, 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 shalom. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ya Bani Israel. Well, my people, after you've seen that clip, you know, um, we are in a world today where it's being pushed down our throat, our body. They want to push this, what they call, alternative lifestyle. And the thing about it is that people on the sidelines that watch people like our that will go under the knife, mutilate the body, look like a freak show, spend thousands of dollars for look like Serati freak show. And you have people on the sidelines that encourage it. You know what I mean? And when you try to bring truth, because you know nowadays truth is a new hate. You know what I mean? You can bring it as humble as possible and as sincere as possible, but it's gonna be still treated as hate. People are not gonna receive you. But it's funny to me because people forget about a time where there was a man named Noah. And Noah was living on the earth in a time where people was going about their own way. They didn't want to reason. Whatever felt natural and good to them, that's what they went with. And we are in a time, just like as it's written, okay, and it's prophesied and spoken by Christ, Hamashiach, ourself, that say that as in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the time of the Son of Man. And as you see, it is going on on schedule and on point as prophesied in the scripture. But here's another thing that we want for bringing to light. This is first out of the book of Isaiah chapter 5, starting from the 20th verse. And it says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Verse 21 says, Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. And that's a lot of what's going on today. A lot. You have now in the book of Ezekiel chapter 33, which I'm not going to read it out, but it basically describes that when the Most High brings a sword upon the land, and there be any amongst the people that is set in place as a watchman. Now, that when this person, the watchman, that plays a role as a watchman, when he sees danger, that might be coming upon the people in the land, and he blows that horn, which back in the days he used to call a chauffeur. Now, when he blow the chauffeur, that is like a signal to warn everybody, prepare yourselves and set yourselves in a rain to protect yourself, take cover, or to get ready to do battle because there's a neighboring uh, enemy, somebody that looks like they're coming to do harm. That's just, in a way, an example. You know what I mean? Because when we, as people, go to point out something to somebody that's not right, according to the Bible, that might be out of place according to Torah of the Bible, you know what I mean? We are trying to let them know, listen, this is dangerous. You should not do this because the word of the Most High said this, that, and the third. But like I said before, a lot of people get emotional. They don't want to hear it. You know, again, people will say, you're quoting scripture to try to use it to, um, to propagand, you know, for hate propaganda, to promote hate. You know, these things that people will say is only because they are just lacking knowledge, they're ignorant, and they have no idea of what they're saying whatsoever. But it's just like in Second Peter's first chapter in verse 20 and 24, 21, when he said that, for these things that are written in the scripture did not come by the, way of, by the will of man alone. It did not come by the will of man, but it came by the spirit of man. Spirit of man that was moved by the spirit of the Most High. So when we come and try to give a message to people, and they rebuke it, and, and you know they push it away and say, oh, you're just trying to bring hate, or you're just trying to promote hate. You're using scripture or the context. Well, these are people who are caught up in the world. These are people who are caught up in the web, in the whole matrix of this whole system, you know? And these are the people that are gonna lead the blind to the blind and then wind up finding themselves in she-hole, in hell, in other words. I'm gonna go in this off with Romans, Romans first chapter from the, from the 25th verse to the 30, uh, 32nd verse, excuse me. And it says from the 20th verse 25, who changed the truth of God into a lie and served and, and worshiped and served the creator more than the creator who is blessed forever, I mean. For this cause, 
God gave them up unto a vile affection, vile affections, for even their woman did change the natural use into that which, uh, which is against nature. Verse 27, and likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burning their lust one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meet. Verse 28, and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Verse 29, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers. Verse 30, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents. Verse 31, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affections, implacable, unmerciful. Verse 32, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. You understand what that means? Those people who you sit back the ones that you're sitting in the corner or you're on the sidelines and you're watching these people doing these things and you're encouraging them say, yes, you look good. Yes, that operation you got there look good on you. Yes, do what you want. It's through the world. In the world this, you know, do what thou wilt. You know that old Alistair Crowley saying or whatnot, that, that saying they used to have, do what thou wilt, that same thing that you see Jay-Z sometimes wear on a, on, a, on a hoodie shirt, do what thou wilt. Yeah, well, that's what is getting people in trouble with the most high because you want to do what thou wilt. You want to serve your own purpose. You want to live according to your own mind, your own wisdom. You know, it's said in the scriptures, you know, first pride, then comes the destruction. And a lot of you all there are prideful. I feel sorry for you.